Hi, this is Mr. Yu. Today we are going to go through the book on interactions. We are we have covered food chains and food web, but I would like to bring your attention to these two pages, which is where do organisms get their energy from, and what are producers and consumers. Now, I would like to summarize these two pages in a very simple diagram, and I hope that it will be easier for you to understand. Let's begin. Now, at the base of the pyramid of nature, we have the producers. The producers are actually plants, and they form the largest population among all living organisms. The sun is the main source of energy. That's what we have learned. And plants have chlorophyll, which is able to trap the light from the sun and they make food. And this is also the reason why we call plants as food producers. Moving up the pyramid, we have the primary consumers. The primary consumers are actually herbivores, which means they eat plants only. As we move up the pyramid, we come to secondary consumers. And secondary consumers are carnivores, which means they eat animals only. But then again, there are also omnivores, which means they eat plants and they also eat animals. As you can see, these different levels of consumers as they go up the pyramid, they get smaller in population. So what is right on top of the pyramid? They are the tertiary consumers. They are animals like the eagles, the tigers, the lions. And these animals, which are known as tertiary consumers, are usually the predators and predators are animals that always look for prey so how do you remember what roles they play this is the way for predators they are always the hunter and uh, being the hunter they will always be looking for animals and these animals are being hunted so predators are hunters or prey are being hunted right so i hope this short video explains clearly what these terms means and this is mr yo signing out thank you and goodbye